here. We're ready. ready to go? Talking with Sidney Pollack, one of our great American filmmakers in uh, Los Angeles. And uh, Mr. Pollack, we were just talking about Minneapolis. You uh, did some stuff with Garrison Keillor. Well, I did do one of the Prairie Home Companion shows once. I played a sparrow, I think. <laughs> it was only had the idea only Garrison Keillor could come up with. He, we, at that time, were talking about trying to do Lake Wobegon as a film, possibly doing it. Everybody's wanted to do it, including myself. And it's always been very, very difficult to do. But I did go out there to work with uh, Garrison for uh, a few days. And uh, he informed me as I arrived that I was going to do his show. I didn't have any say in the matter. So mm -hmm. I, I dutifully showed up and, and did that show. And it was great fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the moments in uh, uh, the life of Sidney Pollack, uh, moments that when you see a film like Sliding Doors, everything seems to take on a greater significance. Um, this is a film that truly affects us all, whether we want to believe it or not. Yeah, it's, I, I am, like everybody else, shocked that nobody's thought of this before as a film because you, you certainly are preoccupied with the concept of it all day in your life. You wander around and say, if I just left 10 minutes earlier, if I just had gone that way instead of this way, I wouldn't have gotten stuck in the traffic. I wouldn't have had the accident. I wouldn't have missed the appointment. I would have now been on such and such. Mm -hmm. I would have been $100 richer or whatever the hell it is. You, you, you really do wonder all the time, what if, what if? Mm -hmm. And so here, Peter uh, Howitt was smart enough to uh, say, hey, I think this is a movie. Any fleeting moments in your life, at least seemingly fleeting moments, where you had missed a, uh, a subway or... Anything like that that turned fateful? Well, yeah, you can, I can rem going back to when I was a kid and wasn't supposed to drive my father's car and did and made a wrong turn and banged into another car and got in an accident and then kept wondering all day, oh, if I just hadn't turned right, if I had turned, you know, it happens with everything. You always wonder things like that. I can't remember any life-changing event, frankly, but I, I do remember... Uh, moments all the time. I still have them today, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, people with must have them all the time with airplanes and airplanes. You know, you're always hearing, geez, I had a ticket on that plane. Mm -hmm. And at the last minute, I, I couldn't go. And then something happens with the plane, it's a crash or something like that. And you say, wow, what was that? I'll think about that when I go back to Minneapolis <laughs> today. <laughs> um, okay, and then having said that, you, the film, the, the thoughts about this film don't begin and end with this film. We have to go on with our lives. Um, watching it, living it, um, thinking about the future, are you going to approach things with a little greater caution now, knowing that things that I do, I mean, you, you could probably drive yourself crazy that way. Well, that's, that's the problem. You know, you don't, you live your life and you take your chances, but you do always second guess yourself a little bit when what you do alters your life in any way, even for the day, even, even pleasure, even a flat tire that you picked up by driving over glass when you could have turned left, and not, or whatever it is, you, you, that's always mm -hmm. going to happen. But I don't, I don't think you can take those things so seriously that you start living a different kind of life. Let's talk about Sidney the actor. Uh, so very few times, unfortunately for us as viewers, I mean, you made an impact with the fi films you've been in. Are we going to see you in more? Or? Well, I, I was, last year, s I spent some time in London with Stanley Kubrick on doing Eyes Wide Shut, this, the new film that stars Tom Cruise and his wife, Nicole Kidman. And night before last, I, I did a, I got talked <laughs> into doing, uh, I've never done a television one, but I got talked because I'm so crazy about Helen Hunt and this Paul Reiser on this Mad About You, and Helen was directing her first uh, episode. So she called and asked me to play a psychiatrist. So I, I, w I was over there till 11 o'clock shooting mm -hmm. night before last. Now, I know you're sworn to secrecy about eyes wide shut, so I'm not going to be foolish enough to say, hey, what's it about? <laughs> but I do want to know, um, as a filmmaker, um, now you're under the direction of Stanley Kubrick. Absolutely. And Can you tell me, has your perspective changed as a filmmaker uh, with this experience? Well, you learn from, when, when you work with somebody as good as Stanley is, you, you, you do reevaluate the way you work yourself. I mean, it happened working with Woody Allen, it happens working with Stanley Kubrick, it happens when you work with a director who's as much of an individualist and as much of a craftsman and an artist as Stanley is. You, you, you can't help it. One of the exciting reasons for doing it is to get to see the way other people that you admire work. Mm 
funny thing about directing is you really don't ever know if you're doing it right because you don't get to see other directors work. When you're an actor, you watch other directors and you watch other actors, but as a director, you, you very rarely ever see another director work. Another completely original idea, a wonderful film in Sliding Doors. Congratulations. Thank you. Look, more to, uh, look forward to more from Stanley, uh, not Stanley Kubrick, yes, yeah, Eyes Wide Shut. There you go. <laughs> I get called Sydney. Stanley all the time. <laughs> from Sydney me. Pollack, the, uh, the actor, director, uh, producer, filmmaker. Thank Sa you. Uh, Stanley Kubrick. Here, right. I'm stuck on that. There Sydney you go. Pollack, thank you very pleasure. much. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks.